Check your biology textbooks, folks, right now. It's in your textbooks right here. Proven wrong in 1874. Why would somebody leave that in the textbooks? One professor I debated, I gave about 30 different things that are not true in the textbooks, and he said, folks, Mr. Hoven's right. These things are not true. But, Mr. Hoven, I've got a question for you. What would you replace them with? I said, folks, what he's trying to not say is, hey, we want the kids to believe in evolution. We have to give them some evidence. He's taken away our evidence, so he's got to find a replacement. I said, sir, I'm sorry. If you don't have any evidence for your theory, I'm sorry. Maybe you should find a new theory. But it's not, the burden of proof is not on me to replace evidence. I think we just simply ought to get the textbooks, which contain lots of good science, and cut out the bad science. And I go through that on video number four of all the pages that need to be removed from your textbooks, and the books will be fine. You don't need to buy a whole new book. I'm not trying to get creation into the schools. I'm not trying to get the Bible into the schools. I want the schools to teach science. And evolution is not part of science. Microevolution is really a bad name. We ought to just call it a variation. That's all it really is. See, the devil's a liar. He's deceived people. The Bible says he's a liar. I think he's using this evolution theory to lead folks to hell. Now, you don't go to hell because you believe in evolution. You go to hell because you haven't accepted Jesus Christ. And I don't want anybody to go to hell. Hey, if you died today, where would you go? You're going to be dead for a long time, you know. The Bible says God cannot lie. He said he'd save you if you'd ask him. 31 years ago, I asked him. Every one of us is going to die. I'm going to try to make it the last thing I do, but it's going to happen. <laughs> And it's going to happen to you too, and you better be prepared for that because you're going to be dead for a long time. I know one thing. Even if all else is taken away, my position is certainly a lot safer. If I'm wrong, I haven't lost a thing. I've had a wonderful life. What if the evolutionist is wrong? It's going to be a fearful thing to fall into the hands of an angry God. Thank you so much. Purpose to life. Well, let me start with that, purpose to life. Uh, Dr. Hovind started out earlier this evening talking about humans having a basic desire to understand things, uh, where, we, where, where we came from, how we came to be, um, why we are where we are. We all have a curious nature, don't we? And human beings are curious if nothing else. I mean, if we weren't, we wouldn't be doing half the things that we're doing. What purpose to life does evolution offer us? Well, it offers us a chance to learn where we came from, how we came to be, what we're doing here. No morals. Evolution doesn't really discuss morals or not. That's a question for society. What would happen if Dr. Hoven decided that I'm going to murder you in five minutes? Would all of you just stand here and let him do it because that's his personal belief and he believes that that's right? Society doesn't allow that. Society sets rules. There are lots of societies that aren't based on the Christian faith that have lots of moral rules. People understand right from wrong with whether it's dictated to them in a religious doctrine or not. We have to have rules if we're going to live in a society. Don't we? See, if you look at, you know, I also teach about different cultures in the anthropology department. If you look at a, a hunting and gathering society, a small group of people, 25 people living together in a certain area, and they sort of wander around the landscape hunting and gathering for a living, you know, they don't have a whole lot of rules because there's only 25 of them. 25 people, they all know each other. They all know if you screw up. They know if you took it into your own mind to murder somebody else, you know. They're not going to let you get away with it. But what happens when society starts to grow? There are more and more and more of us. How many people do you think are in this room right now? 100, 200 people? Could we all get along the same way? We have to set down some kind of rules. How many people in here have ever broken a law? 
in your life. Raise your hand if you've ever... Speed limit. That's a law. That's wrong, folks. But, you know, you didn't get caught. Or maybe you did get caught and you had to pay a little fine. How many people have ever murdered somebody in here? Raise your hand if you've committed murder. Well, nobody's going to raise their hand because the rest of us are going to turn around and go, they did it. Because we as a society decide what rules we're going to live by, what rules we're going to have to obey. And you know, there are sort of minor rules and major rules. You have to understand how society functions, how culture functions. Culture didn't just appear overnight either. It's evolved. Lots of the great state level societies, the Western world is included in this, have rules that are based on religious doctrine. The Egyptians had rules. The Aztecs had rules. Some of them were pretty nice rules and some of them were pretty evil rules or bad rules. It depends on your, your way of looking at things. We don't necessarily excuse them. All westernized societies that are based on Christianity aren't always good. Now the Muslims will attest to that during the 12th and 13th centuries when the Crusades were happening. A group of religious people got together and decided to go out and convert or kill people if they didn't want to be converted. Well, Dr. Hoven was also spending a great deal of time saying that we want evidence. Show me the evidence. Like, show me the money. Show me the beef. Where's the beef? Give me the evidence. He's holding us up to a standard that he doesn't want to participate in. Here's my offer. Here's my proof. It's in this Bible. Believe it or don't believe it. If you don't believe it, why are you going to be in trouble? Maybe. Maybe not. There are an awful lot of people, evolutionists aside, take the evolutionists out of the equation. There are lots of other people who are devoutly religious, hold very deep religious beliefs who would argue that point, just as vehemently as he would argue his point. But see, most of the people in this room agree with him, so he's right. The other people are wrong. We know they're wrong. They lose. Boy, don't you wonder why there's so much strife in the world? Why we all can't get along? Why can't we? Why don't we all agree? If this is the, 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 the truth, you know, there's an awful lot of people being deceived. Maybe they are. I'm not telling you they are or they aren't. That's not what I'm here to do. That's for you to decide for yourself. A personal decision. I don't think it's fair to hold somebody up to a level of proof that you're not willing to hold yourself up to. What benefits do we get from uh, evolution? I think he mentioned that there weren't any. Uh, how many of you here have been vaccinated for any number of diseases? Anything. Measles, smallpox, polio, all of that came out of evolutionary studies. We studied viruses, we studied bacteria, we studied parasitology, we look at parasites, things that make us sick. And we come up with ways to combat them that are a direct result of evolutionary studies. We understand how these things came to be, how they live. Viruses are weird little creatures. We're not really sure if they're alive or not. They're sections of DNA, they're fragments of DNA that invade your cells, right, like the flu virus, and it does weird things to your cells, and we have to figure out a way to combat it. How many of you had a flu shot this year? I had one, I have to get one at work at the zoo. Anybody get the flu regardless of having the flu shot? Because there are different strains of flu out there. And they're evolving, they're constantly new ones. They're becoming resistant to our antibiotics. If you go to the doctor and they put you on antibiotics, 